guess we're just gonna be freaking sir <laughs> welcome to this video which we're gonna be calling tea with B it's where I drink tea sit down and update you about the week and Dougie burps in the background immediately as we start filming. You're going to be hearing him breathing heavy, although he is becoming a svelte queen now that he no longer has access to a plethora of Funfetti cake. And all of you who are sending me this TikTok, they always ask, what the dog doing? But never, how the dog doing? Rude, that is not Dougie. If your wiener is in frame this entire time, I'm gonna be sad. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> you nipped my arm fat! Stop it! Stop it so much! We need to focus, Douglas. Focus. As I was saying, this is gonna be Tea with B, a video where I update you on the week in a sit down fashion, aka a lazy video because this week has been hectic. My ability to articulate things is just not there. And we will get into that in a moment, but right now let's go ahead and pop my way in from this morning in on the screen. We are right at the cusp of the 230s. Again, we have been here many times before. It's just something that has happened. 2.30 seems to be a point of resistance or a mental block or a psychological barrier, which is the same thing as a mental block, just different words. But I digress. I'm very hopeful that next week we will be getting out of the 2.30s because my diet and my exercise have been all good. I hit all my workouts this week. Me and Dougie started our routine again, going on little jaunts. Not, none of that. That's a gross sound. Not to mention, I've been wanting to channel some of my more anxious energy, slapping my ass on the treadmill, doing a quick 20 minute walk, just kind of like getting out of that zone. So that's awesome. That means that we're starting to develop new behaviors, new habits that are positive to deal with stress. Love that for us because she's new here. She doesn't even go here. Do you even go to this school? No. As far as diet goes, I have been pretty much eating the same thing almost every single day. I am obsessed with that salmon recipe I found a few videos back. The one that's super easy. It's like one sheet pan. I'll pop it in the description if you're curious. Really hard to mess up. Aside from that, I've been eating my big heifer salads, which is just a large mixing bowl filled with salad. It's very filling, volumetric eating, you know, that kind of thing. I also put Parmesan cheese in it, which I'm obsessed with because strong, sharp flavor makes it feel more indulgent when you don't have to add that much to make it feel more indulgent. Very much a fan of strong, sharp flavors. Aside from that, I have been partaking in everything bagels and cream cheese. I know, a little bit more indulgent, but like soul food. It just speaks to me. I don't know. It's comforting. It's everything. Okay, so this week, just know that I'm putting the wheels in motion for the next step of my life beyond my current nine to five. I have a plan. It's not graphic design related. I am just going to leave it very vague because right now everything is kind of fragile. <laughs> so I don't want to like say something and then you guys thinking that it's happening when it could all just like fall apart tomorrow. So just know that I'm working on that. As for my graphic design job, that has been a little bit more stressful this week just because we're going back to have to like be there full time five days a week again when we used to be able to work from home sometimes. The specific place where I work, when you go in there, there's like no reaching the outside world. Like I can't bring my cell phone in, can't access personal email. So it's like when I leave that place, everything that's accumulated during the day is just like bombarding me. So that gets a little bit exhausting, especially this past week, because like I said, putting the wheels in motion for something else. And um, that involved a lot of other people. And I just like wanna quickly like tell you all, like because like all of the support that I got from like my last video, it's just truly appreciated like you guys are so awesome and I don't want you to think that like financially I'm in a pickle or anything I've set myself up to where I'm good I have plan a b c d 
going on. I was never in a position where I wasn't okay financially. So don't think that you have to like sit through all of the ads. Like you can skip the ads. Like that's 100% fine. It's not that situation at all. Like I don't need you to do anything extra. You guys are sweet for just being here. If you want to watch my videos, I appreciate that. And that's enough. You don't have to buy anything. I'm not gonna be selling anything. You guys ask for merch, but like I don't wanna put out any merch that like I don't feel proud of. I'm not gonna be like slanging anything that I don't believe in, you know? And that goes for sponsors too. Like you don't have to buy from the sponsors. So hopefully none of the sponsors are watching this part. <laughs> um, everybody look away. They just pay me to talk about it. And I only talk about things that I actually use. So it's like, I would probably be talking about them anyway. So it's cool that they cut me a paycheck for talking about them. <laughs> So yeah, don't, no need to worry about me in that way. You know, it's just basically, I want to be compensated for my time there because that is the most stressful thing going on in my life is my nine to five job. And for me, basically like that whole situation, like asking for a raise from that job is basically me just wanting to be appreciated and it's a matter of principle rather than me needing them to give me a raise. It's like, if I don't advocate for myself, I would never get a raise there. And I still didn't after I did. So, <laughs> you know, it's fine <laughs> after three years of working there. But you know, whatever. We're not gonna dwell on that this time. We're maybe over it, not really. We will never get over it. I'm petty, petty LaBelle. But I've contemplated starting my own company, whatever that entails, bidding for our own contract whenever the contracts go up for bid again, and beating our current company out and like pushing them out and then just taking over the contract. I was like, that is what I'm gonna focus the next two years of my life on. So like that's a whole new level of petty. I don't know if you know, but that's like the long game petty. That involves learning a whole nother job. <laughs> with this, right? <laughs> we shouldn't be going to that length. I got honey all over the side of that cup and it's sticky and now I'm sticky. Hate that for me. Anyways, we need to make our exit from this petty party and take a ride on the stoicism. What's a mode of transportation that starts with an S? Oh, it doesn't matter. The alliteration's all messed up now. Anyways, it, we need to get out of that headspace and start focusing on the future because I was trying to make a point before I got to that place again, before I joined the pity party again. And I think it was that my YouTube content's not to the tier that I want it to be. I have all of these ideas that I've had written down in this notebook since... I don't know, like November earlier than that. Just like this list of video ideas, like things I wanna research, things I wanna try, like things that involve more than making a cup of tea and sitting down and talking. Which is nothing wrong with these types of videos. I just like, I want to do more because I seriously lack like the execution, the follow through, the planning that it takes. Like there's some YouTubers that balance a normal like nine to five job plus making YouTube content pretty flawlessly. Main one that comes to mind is Christine from Simply Nelogical. I have so much trouble saying that channel name. By no means am I saying that it's not possible. It's just not something that I'm likely to do very well without burning out if that makes any sense. I don't know, like I don't wanna like keep saying that I have ADHD even though like I do, it's something that I have. I don't know if like anybody else feels this way like about their ADHD, but like I don't really like to say it that often because you kind of feel people like roll their eyes like, oh, okay, you're just blaming it on that. Like sometimes I'll skirt around saying it. Like I'll just say like, oh, I have problems with time management. Also, I have been off of my meds for probably since surgery. So that's a new development. I was waiting to get on a new ADHD medication, but insurance fell through with that. It was like a whole back and forth. It was like a whole thing. I just kind of got like really fed up with it. I'm by no means knocking medication. It's great like if it works for you. It just stopped working for me and I kept having to try like new medications and every single time was a whole struggle just to get it with the pharmacy, like through insurance and like all of this stuff that it's exhausting. I don't know, I might try to do things that are a little bit like not the medicine route. I've been listening to like neuroscience podcasts. I'm very interested in that kind of stuff and it would be interesting to see if there's anything there that can help me that's not medication. Again, not knocking medication. Let's make that clear. Also, I've heard of people taking like medication breaks. So if anything, it's that. And then I 
eventually try another medication or whatever. But just like right now, the whole going through the whole process of everything, trying to get the insurance company to approve a medication that probably won't work anyway, it's annoying. And I don't feel like dealing with it at this current point in time because, like I said, been talking to a lot of people on the phone lately. It's just been constant. Um, I almost committed fraud. <laughs> And if you're listening, IRS, like, it's not that serious. That was a little bit dramatic. And we're not committing fraud because I am talking to people that tell me if I'm about to commit fraud. But I was just thinking about it and it should be harder. Like, you should have to go out of your way to commit fraud. And I don't know why, like, my default mindset is white collar crime. But for some reason it is. <laughs> I was talking to a CPA and a lender and um, I was like, well, can't I do this? And they were like, that would be fraud, ma'am. And I was like, well, we will not do that then. Let's not do that. Let's back it on up. Prison would not be good for me. I do not think I could survive. I could barely survive in my own home. And I think you have to be an heiress to like do the whole house arrest thing. So we're going to keep it on the up and up, everybody. Um, it's just scary. And that's part of the reason why I never wanted to venture into like freelance graphic design. It was never my intention to start a business. Never, because do you think that I read legal documents well? No. Do you think that I sign a lot of things that I do not read? Yes. Do you think that one day that's gonna bite me in the ass? Probably. Everything's on the up and up, IRS. Like no one be concerned. We're all good here. We just, have bad ideas sometimes. But that's why you hire professionals. So you're not doing things by yourself and going to prison. I don't know. <laughs> because if it's logical, it is not. It's not allowed. Don't do it. And that's really all that happened this week. It was not very eventful. Like it would make a terrible movie. It'd be like that one with like Jake Gyllenhaal. He's like a 911 dispatcher where he's just getting calls. But like the entire time it's just shot with him in the room. Very low budget. It's like that. Where except for like not as dramatic and not an interesting storyline. It's just me on the phone to all these different people not knowing what I'm doing. Not knowing what I'm talking about. And them telling me that I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and trying to correct my mistakes. It's like me on the phone with several different 911 dispatchers. And they're all trying to put my life back together, like in order. Um, that's the movie. If someone wants to pick up that script, let me know. Anyways, I just want to thank you so much for watching this video, which consisted of me yanking up my shirt for like, I don't know, however long this video is going to be, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, who knows. I aimed this to be a quick update, and then here I am still chatting about how the update wasn't quick. We don't need to do that, B. But anyways, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!